Want to know how you can go from showing up on Zoom like this to this? I'm going to show you how using Ecamm Live. Ecamm fam, what's good y'all? I'm Marshall Fox and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly add some boom to your Zoom so you can show up to your meetings, classes, and webinars like a professional. Since we're all not as techie as Doc Rock, I'm going to make sure that this video is as simple and easy to follow as possible. Just make sure that you bookmark it so you can come back to it when you need to. But just a heads up, in order for you to take advantage of this feature, you do need to be an Ecamm Live member on a pro plan. So if you're not yet in the Ecamm fam, go ahead and pause the video and handle that now. All right, y'all. So this is what we're going to cover. Everything is timestamped. So feel free to jump to the different sections that you need. Let's go. All right. First, go ahead and quit any applications that use your webcam, including Zoom. Then go ahead and open up Ecamm Live and in the menu bar, go to output, virtual cam, and install virtual cam. All right. So go ahead and open up Zoom. Go up to the menu, preferences, go over to video. You'll see your built-in web camera here. You may also see a cam link if you're connected this way. So you may be wondering, okay, why not just use the cam link if it shows up in Zoom? I'll show you why. So if I come down to the virtual cam, keep an eye on my video, boom, it looks a lot better, right? So that's a benefit of using Ecamm's virtual cam as opposed to just plugging right in via cam link or USB. And I'll show you how to make those adjustments later on in the video. All right, y'all. So just like the virtual camera takes the video from Ecamm and brings it into Zoom, the virtual microphone functions the same way where it takes the audio from Ecamm and brings that into Zoom. So why would you even want to do that? So let's say you had some sound effects like some applause that you wanted to play inside of Zoom or some other type of effect. Then you can do that right in here. You can adjust the sound levels as well for the effects so it won't be too overpowering. Also, if you have your mic delay set up in Ecamm Live, like I showed you, if your lips aren't synced with the audio, you can bring that audio right into Zoom so everything will be synced up there as well. So you install it the same exact way you install the virtual camera in the menu bar, go to output, go down to virtual mic, and then click install virtual mic. Then you want to open up zoom. Okay. Go to the menu bar, go to preferences, then go down to audio. Just make sure that under microphone, Ecamm live virtual mic is selected. So just keep in mind that this is one way audio. So the audio will go from Ecamm live into zoom, but let's say you have some participants or some other audio in zoom that you want to come back into Ecamm to record. It won't do that. You can do it with a tool called loopback. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how that works, check out the video called you're on mute by Kurt Nugent in our zoom workshop playlist. There are tons of other videos on our channel about that too. Just look up loopback in Ecamm. All right, y'all. So depending on the type of camera that you use, the type of mic that you use and how it's connected and how it all communicates with the computer, there may be a syncing delay. OK, so my mouth, as you can tell, isn't exactly synced up with the words. But luckily, Ecamm Live has a mic delay feature that you can use to mitigate that. All right. So this is how you activate the mic delay. You want to go to the menu bar, Ecamm Live, go down to preferences then head over to audio, then go down to mic delay. So as you drag this on, you'll now see that the mic delay, my lips should be in sync with the words. Then you'll see this mic delay option at the top left of the window and you can adjust this in real time, but do a test recording first, just to make sure everything's in sync before you start your zoom meeting. Okay. So as you can see, if I jump down to 30 frames, 30 frames, there'll be a little stutter. And then you could tell my mouth is not in sync with the audio at all. <laughs> so I'll jump back by frames and my mouth should be in sync now. So go ahead and adjust it. If you have a Sony camera, in my experience and things that I've heard, you're usually safe between, let's say three and six frames, but just double and triple check it before you go either go live or start your Zoom meeting. So that's how you set up your mic delay. All right, y'all. So this is one of my favorite Ecamm features, especially as it relates to Zoom. Let's say you're in a Zoom meeting and you're going in and let's say you either forget to record the meeting or you don't have speaker view selected, you can still Come to Ecamm, the bottom right corner, make sure it record only is selected and hit record. So you can have your high quality up to 4K video recording available to you. It'll record it locally to your computer. So let's say you want to repurpose it or you just want to have the high quality video file in your archives. It'll save it to your computer. So it'll save it to a folder that looks like this. And as you can see, this is my folder and I'm starting to rename them because I'm using Ecamm right now to record this video which is another thing that you can do. You'll always have those high quality video files on deck. All right, y'all. So inside of Ecamm live, you'll have these different panels here that you can rearrange and resize as you see fit. So you have your scenes panel, 
you have your overlays, your sound levels, comments and reactions, and camera effects. So I'm going to go through each one right now with the exception of the comments and reactions because that doesn't really apply to your Zoom meetings. All right, so let's look at the camera effects panel. I love this panel, y'all. So first I'm going to set everything to its default settings. So I'll uncheck the zoom and pan and I'll reset the picture settings and remove the LUT that I have applied. So as you can see, this is what it looks like straight out of cam, y'all, straight out of camera. So if you're bringing this virtual camera in Zoom, you wanna go ahead and set up your green screen here if you have one. So if I select green screen, as you can see, it looks crazy. So let me grab my green screen. All right, now I have my green screen behind me, but as you can see, my lens is so wide that the sides are still exposed. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and select mask edges, and I can also adjust the fade level as I see fit, but this looks this looks good to me. And you can choose different backdrops that are already pre-installed. Let's look at the modern house. And for certain backgrounds, you can select blur background. And you can adjust the amount of blur as well. So you can select one that's pre-installed, pictures or videos, or you can add your own pictures and videos. You would just wanna click here and then select whatever pictures and videos that you have. All right, so I just took down the green screen and as you can see, this edges are still masked, so I'll uncheck green screen here. Boom, we back. All right, so now I'll go down to zoom and pan. So I, I really like to zoom in and give myself good framing. That way you don't always have to sit like directly in the middle of the shot and you can just adjust the framing as, as you see fit. I think this looks good. Now I'll go down to my picture settings and I'll just tweak the settings on the fly. But the good thing is like, once you do this, as long as your lighting and everything is consistent, once you do it once, you don't really have to do it again. Okay, and I'll bring the camera all the way up. I think it's best to get the picture settings looking the way you want them in the camera first before you bring them into Ecamm. But once you do bring them in, you can continue to tweak it till it looks perfect. So I think this looks good. And then I'll go down to LUT. So a LUT is a lookup table. It's essentially like a color grade for your video. It's almost like an Instagram filter, but for your video. So I have a few of them saved and I'm gonna select this one. This is the one I've been using. Um, as you can see, it's kind of harsh, but I can bring down the intensity. I like to keep it like here. So if I take it all the way off, this is what it looks like. If I take it all the way up, this is what it looks like. So you can see the difference. So I like to keep it around 60. And I'll just come back up and continue to tweak the settings and I'm good. Of course, yours will depend on your specific situation, your camera, your lighting, etc. But This looks a lot better than how it looks straight out of the camera, right? So then you can come down here and mirror the camera if you want, but I don't like to do that. I like to just keep it the way it is. You can go black and white. That looks dope. And then de-interlace, I have no idea what that means. So you can also rotate the camera if you wanted to. Let's say you're doing some type of reel for Instagram or a YouTube short or a TikTok type video, you can rotate it as well. And I just found that out just now. <laughs> so you can apply these settings to all scenes, which we'll get into in a second, or you can set this as a default camera. So every time you open up Ecamm and every time you select your virtual camera and whatever application you're using, this will be the default camera. It doesn't really apply if you're only using one camera, but if you have multiple cameras that you use, then you can set this one as the default. All right, y'all, now that we have our, our video looking good, we got the camera effects and picture settings dialed in. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add some overlays to create scenes and then use those scenes in Zoom. So let's go ahead and call this like the sizzle section of the video, right? I wanna show you how to add some, some sauce, some, some boom, some pop <laughs> to your video to really knock the socks off of your viewers, all right? But before we begin, just keep in mind, everything we do in the Ecamm Live panels will be reflected in Zoom in real time, okay? All right, y'all, so as you've seen already in Ecamm Live, we have these panels that we work from, right? So if you don't see the Scenes and Overlays panel, go to Window and select Scenes and select Overlays. These are the two panels we're gonna focus on right now. Okay, so the secret sauce, y'all, are these overlays. So I'm gonna show you how to use them and then we're gonna create some scenes in a second, okay? So what exactly are overlays in Ecamm Live? They're exactly what they sound like. They're photos, you can do videos, GIFs, cameras, screen shares, you can even do countdown timers all overlaid on top of the video to make your presentation or your meeting that much more dynamic. The beauty of Ecamm is that you can literally just drag and drop a photo right on top of the window and then resize it and I'm gonna reposition this this logo in the corner of the video, okay? 
Boom. So don't forget, this will show up in Zoom in real time. So what I'm going to do now is save this as a scene. And what a scene is, it's a combination of cameras and overlays that you can easily switch between and you can save them so you don't have to recreate them every time. So in order to save this scene with the logo in the corner, I created it on the default scene here on the scenes window. So I'm just going to double click this and rename it to scene with logo. Okay, let's create a couple other scenes with some overlays. Okay, so I'm going to drag this t-shirt onto the main panel. I'm going to resize it again. Boom. Shameless plug. Boom. So now I'm going to save this as scene with t-shirt. Okay. So now that scene's done and I can toggle back to the original scene that we created. Boom. Scene with logo. Scene with t-shirt. And as you can see, my framing is a bit different, but I'll leave that as is right now. So I can reposition this like this. So let's create another simple scene. I'm gonna hit the plus button here, switch back to my cam link, and I'm gonna add an overlay frame onto the screen. Boom. So in Zoom, this will show up as well. So I can, in this case, I'll go ahead and zoom in, adjust my framing. This looks good. So I'm gonna save this as main overlay frame. You can name it whatever you want. So this also supports GIFs. Let's say you had a funny GIF you wanted to add to your screen. You can just add it, right? Boom. So this will show up right inside of Zoom. Okay, so here I have a looping logo <laughs> video file that I added here. So I created this in advance in Final Cut, but you can add stuff like this to it. And what I'll do is I'll select loop from the, this drop down. And it'll just play on the loop and I can have that throughout the entire video, whether I'm on Zoom or if I'm recording something or if I'm going live. So if you have like an animated lower third, you can add that as well. Boom. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to set up some scenes. So this next section is a bit more advanced, but if you just follow along, you'll be fine. The main thing to remember here is that you want to start each scene with the source set to blank. All right, so I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to select this plus button right here, click new empty scene, and then go up in the menu bar and select source blank. Okay. I'm going to go away for a second, but what I'm going to do is add in this frame that I have created. It's overlay in advance. So let's pretend we have a meeting here. So this is the secret sauce y'all. I'm going to go to under overlays, click this camera with the plus button, new camera overlay. So it's going to bring me back in. I'm gonna hit this pencil icon, then hit cam link. So I'm back, but look, check this out. Go to shape custom, okay? And I can adjust it accordingly like this. And I can also go over to zoom and pan and zoom myself in, adjust my framing, but that's not it, y'all, that's not it. I can go to, I can adjust the corner radius as well but I can add a border, a colored border. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> and you could change the color to the border. Just like that. Just like that. Doesn't that look professional? You can record a whole course or you could facilitate a live meeting, webinar or live coaching session or course just like this, y'all. Something as simple as that and you can adjust it accordingly. But do this beforehand, okay? Don't do this while you're in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll save it as a uh, meeting scene, okay? We can name it whatever, of course, meeting scene. So let's do a couple more. So I'll go to, you can actually duplicate this or you can just add a new one, new scene, source, blank. We're gonna get a little fancy, okay? So I'm gonna drag this one in. So this right-hand side is transparent. But I'm going to add another camera overlay. Okay. Let me get rid of the border. I don't need the border here. And I'm going to change the camera again. I should have disabled my webcam, but it's all good. Custom for the size. And I'm going to actually reduce the border radius, the corner radius. I'm going to add myself to the corner like this. Okay. But I need to make sure I'm underneath of this. I mean, this looks fine as is, to be honest, but I want to be underneath. So it's layers, okay? 
So what I'm going to do under the overlays, is I'm going to drag this camera below the meeting. Okay. So drag, let's drag the meeting above the camera. Boom. And I can adjust my framing as well. If I zoom in, I can move myself over. Doesn't that look dope? Doesn't that look dope? <laughs> yes. All right. So let's save this one. His fancy scene. All right, let's do a couple more real quick. All right, so I'm going to do plus source blank and drag this one in. And I'm going to add a camera overlay right on top of that circle. So we're going to do cam link. The circle is fine. Okay. Boom. Make it larger. Zoom in. Adjust my framing. Boom. I'm saving this as circle. Okay. So I can easily switch between these different scenes that I created. Okay. Isn't that cool, y'all? So let's create another scene really quickly. You guys get the point, right? So I do source. I'll actually keep the camera as a source this time, but I'll switch it back to the cam link. And I can add this. Uh, little PNG file. So similar to the t-shirt that I added, but you can do this as well. You can have this as a scene. So I'll just have it as like new style. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how you can do a screen share, but keep in mind when you do a screen share from Ecamm into zoom, the quality isn't great. They have the quality limited in zoom. So you will need to email them and request 720p. But just keep in mind, whatever you're sharing from Ecamm into zoom, it will be recorded inside of Ecamm. But just know when you do that screen share, the quality will not be the best unless you email them and have a specific request. So we do have information linked in the description on exactly how you can do that. So depending on what you're doing, you may just want to do the screen share inside of Zoom specifically if you don't need any kind of fancy scene setup. So I'm going to create a new scene. Let's do screen share. I'll do source blank again and I'll drag in this Add a new camera overlay again. Change it to the cam link. Custom. So I'll adjust this, put it right over top of this section and then drag it below the screen share. Okay, so now I'm inside of this little box. Let's go ahead and increase the zoom a bit. Adjust the framing. Boom, I love it. So now let's go ahead and add a screen share overlay to this section. So I'll come down here and you'll see this little monitor icon with the plus click that and it's going to add in your screen share. Okay. So I'm going to adjust it. You can adjust the size as well. So you can select which display you want to use. If you want it, want it to show the entire display or if you want it to show a specific app. Okay. So I'm going to choose affinity designer. Okay. So then I can adjust this and the shape I'll do custom. Okay, so I'll adjust this like this and then drag this screen share overlay below the overlay frame that I created. Okay, so now it's perfectly in that box. So if I want to adjust it, I can move it around. But if you want to be able to grab those corners, go ahead and drag it back above the overlay and adjust the corners as needed. So if you can't grab anything, um, just remember everything is layers. So you can go ahead and, and move it above or drag it back below. Okay, so now that looks good. So as I move around in this window on the secondary display, you can see everything right here. Okay. And remember, you can always switch between your scenes now. And everything you do in here will be reflected in Zoom in real time. Isn't that cool, y'all? All right, y'all. So now you should know exactly how to use Ecamm Live with Zoom so you can look more professional. You can stand out and give yourself an instant credibility and confidence boost. If this video was helpful, please drop a comment, drop a like. And if you use Ecamm Live with Zoom already, let us know. So if you want more in-depth tutorials on how you can use Ecamm Live with Zoom, we have an entire Zoom workshop playlist linked in the description. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the way out. Peace.